to make it to playoffs. And Senna put on a map that's looked a little dodgy for them recently. They, they, they got a fantastic win at Madrid. They need to find some of that magic again. I think it's very interesting the way that we heard from Kaplan there that they're actually fairly, you know, positive about their approach to the beginning of the map on Lotus. It didn't feel like they were down mentally, their comms were okay. That's kind of what I'm reading into Kaplan's response there, but they still had a devastating... Xanax made a lot of space at the moment. Reaction push over towards mid. Going for a bit of exploration down mid with the help of the rest of his team. Yeah, dude, he it. made so back much space. Did the turret not see the crossover towards side? Way, way into the back lines of A. Oh, boy. Damn. Lisa K doesn't get any, but it's a perfect molly as well. <laughs> Look at Sadak go. Dude, they're going to 2-0 them. How are they getting these kills? Oh, man. Lovely round from Sadak. Holy. Dude, this turret. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know, man. Did I miss something with the turret, or did it literally just not see the angle of the cross? That's that's an awesome idea. It didn't actually pay off too much, but it kind of confused Sen enough. And Sadak opens up the round. Getting past that turret. Yeah, I'm not sure how. Yeah, how? But a weakness there, I guess, in the defensive setup. Yeah, for then sure. We, we are seeing that refight too. We are seeing people use turrets to defend A that have gaps in them, but normally the Killjoy player has to still be aware of that gap and watching it. I believe we saw it actually in the loud Cloud9 game. Four player stack from Sen over towards B. Not going to be getting any action. It's Zelsis alone. Spotted as well. Allowed us to be a slow burner of a round, to be honest. Just making sure that they can poke and prod towards A. All they want is to avoid the majority of the players on the stack. Center actually calling for a reclear. Out through B main as well. If they get fast onto yeah, the point, and this should be another round. Let's see how clean they get it. In the terms of this, they're allowed two deaths. Attention really being set towards Two the deaths for this one. Recon here. Commit to the flank. Yeah, cleaning things out. Making sure for Loud's point of view that there isn't a stack that they're accidentally walking into. Yeah. Spike planted. Big prioritization as well. I mean, that ult online next up. A bit of reckoning. QCK. He's got the dash at least. Try and play aggressively. Oh. Dashing forwards. Escaping around in the crossfire. It's sublime. This early conditioning to expect Loud to play so aggressive over towards the post plan. Oh, this is gonna start my goodness. Well, that's I mean, that's the damage the that they damage. wanted. I don't think there's any chance for Sassy here, though. He'd have to break I mean, not a chance, fire. but damage yeah. is nice. Got an armory by one of the guns goes down. Huge. Not going to be offered the chance. But what okay, I was saying so is four rifles, and then what do we get on the extra person? We've got Harbor all online. That's going to be a little bit rough. Just to get in position for the retake. A lot of the time, what you'll see is that retaking teams on A can take rafters almost for free, and then they use their utility to put pressure onto the post plan. And louder already, very early on in this half, saying, "No, just you're a ghost on this one, just to get through screens or heaven." Not just that as well for loud. I mean, <laughs> they've set them up so nicely here. Two years of the reckoning. Oh no, I missed time. The smoke on this one doesn't matter. It feels like late smoke now. Others up. Wall goes in. A lot of pressure over towards here as they take over towards B. That's, dude, that's nice. It creates a lot of pressure here and then goes back and joins his team. Three person push over towards A. Who's getting their all online? Okay. Halfway for. has got to keep his eyes there. Even without breaking they the got one utility, molly of the plant. And now louder, full five coming big. So it's gonna, in theory, may be easier. I mean, that's, that's gets straight the through open. the wall. A bit There's a small there, chance the wall went up before he peeked, but no, doing so. QCK crept his way into the close corner. I suggest you Pure move. silence now, making sure that they offload that ult, using it to really gain some space and now they know it's a site cleared out qck adjusted in time wasn't initially there with a crosshair play somebody's found one kill might be going hunting for even Damn, a second bro. one dash disengaged was really Damn, good. dude they're Just everywhere distraction this is a nice strat though from temple. loud this looked hard to play against really with what was going on QCK benefited they were, every, they were everywhere i love this uh but this is him love this early Getting pressure that they did at middle the round, but having that impact on his own base frying man yeah qck has been great so far the timing and was able looking to like one of his better games unfavored fights there against the send players 
It looked like Sassy and Zeltis should have both had the jump on him. And instead, the jet player for Loud flexes and the no muscles. damage on this one, and, and Loud must be must be pretty happy. Got to be pretty happy with this one. This I got no armor rebuys on those three as well, so this is like the best the possible gates, start. Hidden here, and they just haven't. That was a round where Sadak went down super early to John Cutie. That means no alarm bot, no turret on the flank. Sassy and Zekin were both together, and neither of them decided to try to abuse that fact. They might be overthinking things here. They might be thinking to themselves, well, they'll expect us to go for the flank. So and he's like, well, I'll let me snowball again. Keeping it simple would be In for another one of those halves. My surprise we haven't seen Clove there. Not really, because obviously it's like mid-split, so no one doesn't have that much, like people don't have that much time to implement like their new comps or agents. It's all that will be seen. No kill on two years. Want to note as well, second, he didn't burn his dash early there, so he's still going to be able to play aggressively around the B angle. Tens is holding flash here, but there's nobody really to swing off it. And who's going to peek off of it? I mean, it's just, I assume, to stop Sassy getting pressured, but originally Tens was in a position on pipes to try to put pressure onto this, the A Is this pipes. a right click lineup? Instead, it looks like the fight's happening in mid. Yeah, there's going to be a bit of a tussle here, isn't there? Celsius. See if he catches this timing right now that Sadak is working his way forward. Just trying to sense out and feel out the alarm. Yeah, and Sadak was trying to find the alarm button on this one. We've got a molly over towards the site. We dash into the back corner. I don't recommend doing that one. Not a fan of that part thing. Trying to stand your ground against this one. Sentinels have flooded their way right the back in. And now with the code, just blooming. Ever so delayed. Not enough to buy. Hide that cover for two years. Jumping around. Less is spotted. The fight that happens in mid there ends up being super important. If Celsius had fallen, there was chances for Loud to cancel, and it would have also meant that there was no nano swarms on A for them to deal with. But I also Ten think that Loud's left. decision to go for that pathing from QCK, updraft dash into the corner, that's about the most spammable spot you could possibly path to as a jet. Yeah, it's so corner. weird. So that's a bit weird. Take a look at this on the replay though. Celsius. Got off to a very, very cold. <laughs> yeah, like, Lotus. dude, you're like, you're, you, it's like the plant thing all over again, right? Ring, when you plant against the wall, you have less place to spam. Similar thing here. You see a smoke. If it's in half, obviously you don't have to smoke the other half. So it's less of a guessing game. You've got more chance of hitting it. Half in there just doesn't make sense. Three to one. Got to keep that momentum going if you are Sentinels. Um, good news for Sentinels is the amount of people that survived. Second, a little bit further forward. Which they are stacking it heavily. See though, just pre-aiming a lot of that util. They're gonna push second now, tucked. And this is, well, this should be a bit of a one and done angle. Taking contact. Lots of players waiting. Where are the protocols here? You just can't tip tap. Not with a movement. Covering and Sassy hit that extra Sassy. shot on the follow up as well. Back. Lovely. Nice abuse on the fact that Loud have not been using Texas drone there. Really smart read. Send stacking three players, making B the strong side. Ooh. Second continues to deliver. Sadak is just, just tanking it. With a little alarm bot over there, getting up closer to his ultimate, which could be a defining characteristic for them in the next round to come. They still have money to buy. He's realizing as well that the round is lost here. Setting up for the peak, so nice and clean from Sentinels. We're wondering how they were going to get themselves back into it. And I think that's a great punish for Sen. And it's also going to force Loud to use that uh, drone earlier on. You see here the way that QCK and Cowan are peeking. They're expecting there to be no one there. And Zekin doesn't even pop dash after the first one. He waits until he's killed two before he even goes for it. Yeah. Not feeling pressured. No. So now it's, we start the round, and I would assume that Cowan is going to drone this just off rip. We're gonna be making the same mistakes again. And now, as loud put pressure now the, the we can actually <clears throat> win around the, the potential ecos people. How did the money switch area, this fast? Like There's two corner. really, really clean rounds. Once you can start conditioning your That's opponent, hard to get that so one back, but to read what they are going, going to do. for it. That's another reason, actually, why snowballs exist in this game. If you start losing, you can't control what your opponents are going to do in the next. 
The amount of ults that Loud have got, though. Lombard over towards A destroyed. Double wall vision blocks. So, like a heavy question mark over towards here. This comp in terms of Sentinel's comp isn't great at clearing question marks. It's normally normally like flash commit or just knife. Knife is here, so knife over towards yellow would be great. And that is literally what Loud are waiting for right now. It feels like. Yeah, it looks like it. While they're waiting for the knife, they go clear over well. towards A. Ooh, kill Joel. I mean, this is going to be a knife over towards. Sassy and Tens will be set up to flash peak on pipes. And Tens isn't using his knife. Right? I mean, look at this. They are not buying they're that not fake it. at all. Yeah. But Sadak's going to realize they have the whole of the side. Sadak's just going to call him back, right? Noise here with 30 seconds. Can you really call for the pivot? John QT spots it. Ooh, now what? Sentinel's read into this round is outrageous, though. Fair play, man. And a fight to be taken. Right. In time, detainment. It's there, two years. It's got to hope and pray and spray. Surely they don't win, the win this. How enough do they even plant? Still, will they be able to get that plant out? Tapping away now forwards here. Is the fight taken? Spraying them all away. How the hell no have Sen fumbled that? That's a brutal one, Bren. Sen had the read completely. Yeah, I mean, they, they read them like a book. I've never seen a team more confident in the call that it's a fake. Wait, that kills nuts, man. Like, was that guy not full blind? Oh. And then this high tide ruined them. It separated tens from the rest of the team, allowed them to get a spam kill through it, and allowed muscle their way through a situation where they've been. Absolutely yeah, they needed to win though, because they would have gone down to an eco. There's still a lot of people that had to rebuy, so it is an eco. <laughs> I mean, it will be an eco again if they win next round. Sentinel's money's really good. Knife goes in. In one, maybe? Knife only spot on the one, though. Zekin is alone here. And now the turret goes back up. We will be seeing this. One shot, one chance. Backs away for the reposition. Still has the dash. It's a drone over. It needs to be dealt with. And finally there. So, gotta respect it. That is really shot. McQCK punished for the hubris. Yeah, they got a lot of after plan util. One molly goes in, double molly goes in, less has double molly. We got harbor ult, it's gonna make it harder as well. A shock dart, an ult. Ult is over towards site though. This is wild. I mean, not to use the reckoning and the hunter's fury in a passive position, but actually pushing us over with hunter's fury deep. Yeah, now they get out of there. Now they play time for this one. When does the molly start going off? Having to be used by tens, bleeding out utility. Molly goes now. This is over. Yeah, this is over. It is actually over. It's not wrong. They might be able to get a few kills online. Got to try. They stop the defuse, which they do. Now the hunter's fury. There's that uncertainty there, but it's around one. Checkmate. As soon as the ults are online. Sick round from Loud here. Beautifully done as well, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Really nicely done there by Loud. I love that call to relinquish those aggressive positions, and I think they've done such a good job conditioning Sen to be afraid of those aggressive post plant spots. Even with QCK dead, even with the jet down, and in a 4v5, Sen was still worried that these players would be so deep. And you have to respect, I mean, when they use the reckoning like that, you have to expect that they could be holding aggressive post back. <laughs> Guys just jumping up like said, the stairs, just, just tanking mollies. Away, play the passive positions, use the ults to just really seal out the round and win it out for them. 5-2, to two. they forced out this time out of Sentinels. Again, things started to go wrong. It was only that round in four and five that they managed to. Yeah, I don't do it. It was a perfectly played round. It really was. Really had to respect the all, one. and then they got to Even clear the cove in case someone's playing the close. Then they yeah, really took their theory. times in terms of what setting off the mollies. Set off the mollies at the most perfect point. More ways of working the map and flash reclearing areas and and winning the macro game compared to this Harbor Viper comp. And a sick. Hello, Puppy. How are we done? We've actually seen them have good macro ideas and still lose rounds yeah find those timings to push down mid and it not really benefit them yes loud got out to a great start winning the first three but it's still it's still been loud i feel in control seconds operator is going to start moving around the map he was posted up on generator in the prior round now he's going to take it over towards b he's played there before and they've actually they've conditioned loud to open B with that Cascade drone. Yeah. So hopefully the drone won't be available to clear Zekin fully. We'll have to see. The angle's available for Zekin. Few and far between when you're upping from this position. Yeah, dude, that's, for when you can hear that's pretty hard to do it right now. Who's going to go down soon, though? The question is high tide. I mean, it's brutal. 
Yeah. I'm hearing it. Looking like Looking the old, uh, the that the old the take with. It's not shy away from the fight. Not what he's got Wait, that was nice as well. Guy. Dude, Loud Loud look great, great, great right now. One, two. Yeah. Baiting out the wider face. For less to just clean it up. That was also, that, that little micro move here is sick, man. Here, you go peek here, and then you go to a wider Zen angle, then you get spotted over to towards heaven. Cram Pete with the 16 months. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for the tier one, dude. And the other flash agent, 16. gone. Sen are just slowly seeding space and losing information when their comp should be able to gain it. Just losing it. War of attrition. Another fake being it's another fake, yeah, it's, it's pulled second away. I mean, they oh, hear these guys running away, though. Running over towards B. And with the recon over oh, towards him, they're pretty far away. Molly goes in to stop the plant. Wait, did Molly even go in to stop the plant? Did they shoot the Molly? Oh, Holy. How is he alive? QCK just couldn't quite claim it. Dash now repositions forwards again this post plant. We played quite fast and loose. Still holding for it, waiting for the peak. Just on top of the box here. Dodging the few stray bullets. At least the trade came in. A double Just molly on this one. Zelta's Not enough. This is a straight up stick, away. right? Yeah, nicely done. Zelta's the tank the molly, got the stick. Close Through round though. Pipe. Yeah, Zelta's one of the one of the worst rounds you can win in terms of money wise, but doesn't matter. Their money's great. From loud. And they got a lot of ults online. QCK has had a Dude, how on so earth is, far, uh, is uh, sorry, is Zekin getting get the get second kill? Now. Yeah, he should have stuck you there. Really can't. I'm wondering what went wrong there. Into it, the that that well. little play there is unreal. Just that one. Yeah, it's just the pressure forward, I think, from the Sen players. Yeah. And uh, you see the, the Molly lineups there from the retakers? They've got Snake Bite and a Fragment Grenade towards back yellow. So they push people behind this one way and then pop it up. Already into the round. Second this time, much deeper angle. Again, it's this cascade that's uh, really problematic, especially the drone. I mean, this is real risky. It's going to clear him. Surely no way, QCK! Hey, he's a beast Expect right now. The op, is the op is somehow dominating over he's towards B, like even though they're just you two dumping him. <laughs> the safety at so man. As good as QCK. Oh, yeah, and QCK. Uh, I mean, Kalen's in tried to disrespect this a little bit. Zekin now has them in his pocket. QCK and Kalenzin getting murked here. <laughs> getting murked. The lanes that are yet to be played here for Loud. Really quite narrow. Sadak. But to him to open something up as. I mean, it's a worse the trade. Again, right? Mid. This is Not a, a double. Play again, just spotted out. And there's a re wow, that's very, that's very impressive from Sadak. That's very impressive from Sadak. All the bullets landing. Even go for another peek at things. Greedy, but he might have just done enough. A wide John QT. Defending these sight lines, making sure that nobody can react into that A site. 30 seconds, he's got a long time to play with. Oh. Too much to manage. The damage. Yeah, nice round, round, honestly. Yeah. Shout out to Sadak for even making this one uh, close rounds. Dude, Zekin is a god right now. Does he even try and go B? Like, would you just be super scared of B and just start A-hitting now? He's not got any support. They're not utilizing tens. Now he's over towards A. To put him on better positions, he is just timing the drone, getting a kill, timing the other players, getting another one. The rest of the team is fumbling, trying to deal with Sadak. While Zelsis does his best to put them in, a, uh, sorry, while Zekin does his best to put them in a position to win the round. In some sense, it's incredible from the star player of Sentinels. In another sense, it's um, a bit the America's replay has been good today as well. It's hero plays. It is. And I don't know how long he can keep that up for. At least, though, with Loud taking the tack time out here, you know, at least from Sen's POV, they're drawing things more level and they've knocked Loud down onto an eco round. So there's a chance here for Sen to draw things up completely even and even have a bit more momentum heading into the rest of the half. Lots of ults to work with. It's a bit difficult though. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing evidence at least when Zekin has this operator in his hands, it does limit the areas that he can play and try and, you know, actually utilizing the double flash comp to be proactive quite aggressively. 
That's but you can't yeah. you can't fault the the hero Honey, plays not well, here. Anyway. Even if God. he is the lone dude, look at this. Exactly. All the ults He's and they're probably very scared of the op at the moment. The op moves over towards A, finding, you know, and the pressure is here originally because of the two rounds that we've seen, and now they put an alarm bot over towards B. This might be aggressive. He has the blade storm to still work up as well. This is really pressured up. Not quite even being utilized here. Oh. Damn. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say there should have been an extra kill here as well, I thought. Pretty impossible for him to win the round, though. 1v3. Zelsis at his back. Zelsis is hearing all of these footsteps. He can just give perfect information to the other players. Yeah. What an aggressive way of playing the anti-eco there for Sen. Just putting a bit of fear into Loud. And another point, the, the, uh, the zero point, the knife that Tens throws at the beginning of the round, Loud are trying to dodge it at the start. And that's what gives them the timing to go for a play like yeah. that. Because Loud are not trying to sprint onto lines early. So I do like the way that Sen are figuring out what's going on here later into this half. Coming up with small micro outplays. Given a lot of space here to Kawazin, you've got to think there's no chances for him. 30 seconds left. Healthy players, sassy. Not even taking the contact of this one. Damn, look how Senna playing this. John is the one who's just nice. crouched tuck. Sassy will be swinging off of that immediately, surely. Wait, they've mistimed it. Ahead. 17 seconds left. Kawazin. I know the positioning of a few of these players. Snake by flying forwards along with the wingman. There's that plant town, but again, like I said, you gotta think there's no chances. No. Whoa. Thrash will be expended. Timing through. Oh, double back and around. Oh, the okay. No mercy. No mercy at all. That's so good. Hey, they got, um. It was it was first Sassy's use of the all right? Former, Pretty sure. Or rather replacement, I guess. Wow. That's very close. Uh dad emoji nice with the 17 though, months. Thank you, set. thank you for that, and mate. I think what's happening here is that they're getting the read on exactly how loud are approaching the start of these rounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. And then abusing that. <laughs> Look at Godzine. <laughs> he knows That's so funny. the players are out there having fun. Five to five though, <laughs> it's heating up. This time, Zekin is not in a spot to try to outplay this B take. Still the same Cascade drone being used. Uh, early alarm on now, they kind of realized the ops back over towards A. Dude, still got so many ults. Like, you might question the ult in the 1v3, but it's like, look how many ults they got still. to John to see how he wants to play this one. To rip with the early snake bite. Tens is in a very you know, backwards position what? here, but he just knows he can play the spam. Angle. Yeah, it's not expecting the angle here. Draft play does do work there to at least clean up that straggle. A pit drop down though will be difficult to work through, and this counter call loud. Over Whoa, and about. The height. Right over the top. Updraft plays with the knives, and they have cleaned up John QT, but are not aware that his time is to be taken. Love the call by Loud there. As he just doesn't walk close, does he? Oh my god. They seem to be a little bit loose themselves, oh, losing track of where these players could be. Celsius. In a 1v2. I think it's good timing of this. Watch the timing here from the dart. Tiniest of windows of opportunities that he could play into, but his wall is in his face. Will he take the peak time? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicely done right. from Loud on this. <laughs> Some close <laughs> rounds, they really are. A lot of people went down before they could use ults the here, though. Round of the half. What a scramble for both teams. This yeah. round started with a clear game plan and then devolved. When Tenz and Sadak traded, that got the lockdown and the non command off the field, save for the next. And then John's pit threw even more chaos into the mix. Good ideas from both teams, though. The way that they were loud were taking pauses over there yeah. after the snowman play. A double face from Sentinels with Zekin going for the updraft with his blade storm. Both teams had chances. But now coming into the last round of the half, Loud have major ults to work with. And Sens are playing more for retake, you would imagine. It's, it's really tough, though, from Sens POV to kind of win this ult battle when Cowan Zine has the counter for Zelsis' lockdown. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit wrecked, but you can time it if they wanted to. Should be answers from Loud. 
the, the, the KO stops a lot. Static on their defense as well. They're just keeping John and Tens anchored in the same spots for the majority of the round. They're not really dynamically moving around and trying to clear stuff out. Now over towards A. Tens holding the peak from pipes. Nice timing. He hit the actual jump up there in the spot. While Tens has gone down and a one and done. John QT to no avail. There was no bailout funds from the rest of his team here. But this is a rapid approach. Hunter's Fury dealing with the first wave of things here with a lockdown. It doesn't get the value that they were looking for, but at least it was forced out early from Loud. But they have got into position with the pit. I think Zekin's got to be the playmaker here. Sound yeah, and no turret to watch the no flag. plant, and the oh, human yeah, it's kind of dodgy. Lid's gonna oh, accept that the ult goes down. Still. Yeah, don't have that down. It. here we go. It. It out. Still the shots. Might have done right enough. Flood over towards Surely side. We've got 15 seconds now. Into the fray and into the fight. Putting the squeeze onto these loud players when time is of the essence. Time of the essence. <laughs> surely the guys on site. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, surely they have a duel here. Instant reposition. What the Zelsus hell? It's another 1v2 for Zelsus. Hey, look at that, man. They are on top of it, though. Yeah, they go a little bit further back to make sure they don't line up. Double swing. Yeah, it's, in, it's insane. They look like a different team in some of these situations. SDK said that this was, it, this was the real loud. Previously, yeah. fake loud. Don't pay attention to it. And I'm inclined to agree they look way better. Finally, playing up to their potential. And they've put, been waiting for. They've put Sen in a horrible spot here. They certainly have. Well, that being said, Riv is standing by with Loud's manager. See what he has to say. Thank you, gentlemen. I am joined by Boya here on stage. Uh, we're going to talk about the team a little bit, obviously, as the manager. Looking at how Loud has integrated players over the years, Tui, Cowanzine, and now QCK, what's kind of that dynamic? What does it look like when Loud integrates a player? I think the most important thing is they feel welcomed by the org and by the players they already was in the team. So I think that's the most important thing when they get to the team and they're new there. And looking at how long you've been with the team and how many different teams there are, what do you what do you feel like has stayed the same to that core of Loud? Uh, for sure, Reeve, the mindset. The mindset of working hard and working smart. This is the most important uh, thing that they kept them in the mind since, since I started working with them. All right, and looking at how you work as a manager, what is the most important thing for you to look out for on a game, on any day? On any day? make sure they are all fed make sure they are sm smelling good having having showers taking showers and <laughs> practicing a lot this is my this is my job anything from today anything you had to do specifically today listen to a good music good brazilian music to hype them up to to the match all right you got it here good beats good music good management <laughs> that's how loud's taking it back to you guys at the desk <laughs> Oh, I had to so yeah. higher in ranked. I need to be in the shower, eating food, listening to Brazilian music. Yeah, that's what I've taken away. Three keys to victory. <laughs> that good hygiene good. goes amiss sometimes if you go into Valorant <laughs> ranked. But uh, no, listen, it's got to be done. It's, All right. uh, it's a large lead, arguably, especially if the pistol round will go the way of loud here as we look forward to this next half. And uh, just taking a look at the scoreboard, Brent. Yeah. It's another situation where Kalanzine and QCK are up towards the top. When the game plan is working, these players are put in positions for success and they're delivering. What we've seen early on in the stage is that Les was having to run around and try and make the hero plays and wide swing yeah. people. That's not the case. He, Les is three and six, arguably the biggest fragger on loud. It's other people filling in here, arguably the right people. And the knife hit three. Success. Set the sides towards the pistol round here. It's so damn important that Sentinels are able to battle back at least. Get that early beginning and under their belt. They just stave off this aggressive aggression so far by loud. Yeah, and with that info, they imagine the call play. would at least nice be for the early. others to start yeah. getting a little bit proactive around the map. After that initial skirmish towards A, they were expecting a pivot in another direction. Tuiz hasn't heard anything. Only now he's going to call that that dizzy was used. How fluid the loud players are as well into the mini map. I mean, they're full rotating. Yeah, they're just ready to, ro they're ready to rotate. Yeah, they're ready to react. They're ready to react. have the same forward, pistol as what, um, back to a. And there's still three what Sam were doing with the info. A heavy defense, and that's exactly what John's called them towards. That wasn't enough pressure on Tui's. He didn't believe it. 
Let's see the cross here. That's my question. He's playing on top rafters into that corner. There is possibilities. Now they've definitely seen it. Acknowledgement. Four Piece people of flying. Shown, and what a shot. Right onto Zekin. Moving the spearhead really for Sentinels. Initiating factor. Yeah, and big there. jewel so over towards B. Coming in now. This kind of decides the rounds, in my opinion. He wins the 1v1, he can call for the pivot over towards B, but right now... You get he out of there? Two he's played so good. And then he does another wall as well. Funny is so damn rough to even get a foothold. Spike needs to be planted. It's a deep in position. Will there be any punishment? He'll play great. Delayed a lot. That's a massive turnaround. A lot of low HPs. Just flip things so that Sen might be able to win this. It's about how he holds his ground here. It's going to be rooted to the spot as well, but there are blind spots to play around. Tens running forward, full sprinting with the flash. That's just a set of oh. but he can't claim the second one and leaves it to Sassy. 1v3 scenario. Plant out open. Oh, what the is that Sassy. thing? He's almost getting his head taken clean. <laughs> oh. Until flying dart. Vanish 1v1. Damn, dude. He always has a 1v3 in him, doesn't he? Wild. Yeah, I thought he was a goner. When that when that dink insta came in, I thought he was a goner. Lovely, lovely shots. And an incredible turnaround. This round should have been loud. Oh yeah, this was loud's round. All of the opening picks were going in their direction. That was an outrageous shot as well. Tens with his dying breath. He's 18 HP. This year, <laughs> while playing Gecko, they couldn't be coming at better times. This one yeah, looks I, I love to this. Most of the most of the loud stuff I haven't been enjoying. Seven. The whole single Bucky Biome defense. Just a a big fan of this. A misstep from Sentinels. They open themselves up wide for the Sheriff shot, but it's diligent. Clear another the dizzy. Another part to Sassy getting that one v three win is that his thrash is so close. What the hell is that kill? Because I mean, Sassy has it all. Next round's gonna be great. Well, the connection against the Bucky. It's a brave fight. Followed up though. Yeah, I mean they're they're allowed two deaths, so it's Loud's defense of B was one of the things that they were getting punished for in the game against Cloud9. A reminder again, that's the last time we saw Loud playing these two maps, Lotus oh, There are the two deaths. They lost to C9. Yeah. Oh fine. Oxy Great bonus right here. On B, fine entries, and then the attacking team was waiting to cycle these Viper walls. And Loud just found it so difficult to defend against that. Yeah. Such an important pistol and follow up here for Sentinels. I mean, you think about it, it turns the other way. You're looking at a 9 5 half on a map that Sentinels need to win. It's another reminder for you as well. There's no guarantees of the playoffs for any of our, you know, America's, America's attendees of Madrid. No, not at all. In fact, they're some of the teams least likely to make it. That thrash, massive component in the bank of Sen here. Nice snake bite as well. Oh, they go fast with the map control here. Fish, fish all goes in. <laughs> it's so funny. Everyone misses this jump recently. Everyone tries to do the same pathing. We can check all the site if you make that jump. The amount of people that miss it. Still comes in a little bit late, so Wingman actually gets the plant down. Double molly on here. We've got tens as molly. John has one molly. Yeah, tens dies before the molly as well. And John's used all of his molly, so we don't... I mean, he's... What a time to come everyone. Okay, nice. The handle from Loud. Look at some of the HPs, though. Like, some of these jewels got a little bit close. Yeah, they really wanted to get at least another kill, so now they're at. Now they're in a good spot. They play the post plants if they want success. They can't just be playing off like that as much as they would like to. There needs to be some level of aggression. Because otherwise, you saw how quick Loud were. They, they ran in, they dominated Rafters immediately. With the Cascade and then the High Tide. You've got to be able to force that out a little earlier, I think. But we'll see whether they change that approach once the rifles are fully out. Okay, big round for the big round for Sentinels. Oh, nice that would just buy, no matter what. 
Acoustic has been disrespecting this early. Nice is that to see if anyone's aggro? Him. With that, they can the take close. For the moment, make sure that nobody can overstep it. It's hard to clear him from that top bikes position, even if you do get tagged. That is a risky pickup of the orb there. Less holding. But there were opportunities for Sen to spam that. You know, they'll hear Tui's running away. So the idea is that it plays them into less. Sound bait. Smoked up. Covers across less. Choosing to respect it. Reclear from Loud as well, and the drone is going to be used to try and set QCK forward. It's a good oh, as he realizes two players. Damn, what a, well. what a bold move by them. So should have been the dart, which is pretty cool. Loaded. Two E's slipping back into yellow now that Sentinels do not have the knife to clear it. This yeah, you got double seven. hold over towards B. We have uh, Molly. Flash dash goes in. A cove to save him to his gets out. One HP. What did the wall give him? 10? 11 HP. He's doing an insane job of playing over towards. Oh my goodness, watch out. Bro, look at who he's running around, dude. Wait, Sadak goes. What the hell? Sentinels just relying and hoping that they can at least send in. Little bro there to get the plant down, but no. Spam down. Denied by Sadak, who's. Oh, people survive. Are they just going to run away? Because, like, it's a win, man. It's a big win. Just the money. Yeah, they don't even want a duel. What an aggressive timing on that play towards A. Man, Tui's is playing so good. He really is. Like, he's, he's not even fragging heavy. He's just. He's just delaying. All the time, it's just non stop delaying here. Yeah. Just already have. Yeah. Getting early info, delaying, the gets out of there, Utah's so great. And they have bodies in the right spots. The way that Loud are taking these fights, being proactive with this particular composition. Uh, I've seen a lot of teams fumble it, to be honest. Trying to yeah. take those aggressive fights, but it's tough. Yeah, when they have that Hunter's Fury. Yeah, with the save, they decide to force by into it. We got a. Backing away. Stinger. Dark timing. Then not the any to actually. Hey, oh yeah, 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 come on, my guy. You can't, you can't be doing that one here. Yeah, that's an upgrade. Oh, pause gonna be called here by Sentinels. Just the Nana Swarms popped off and deaded. Loud though, looking to find their way back in, straight over the top, pushing into the fight. Tens. Dude. Senders decided in this round, we're not going to use any utility. We're going to gonna duel out, keep the guns. I mean, honestly, when they're but out. when they're doing what they were doing, it turns out, hold the guns out. For those. They are good for those. I mean, nice shots. This is left in an unwinnable one before. I don't know whether Senna going to be able to pull off that kind of strat again. But for example, the way that they contest QCK, there wasn't. There wasn't that early round knife. No. There wasn't a dizzy to try to push him off the angle. They just swung him, killed him, and then continued running all the way into backside. This round, yeah, it was not great to watch from Loud's POV, one right? Dizzy thrown from Sassy. The insta re peak with and no util, and then the one by one flood. And they just ran it, down. <laughs> it was atrocious, man, to watch. Well. Nice shots, obviously, for Sen, but. One on the board to get them a little bit closer now to potentially that even score line. <laughs> kill, I mean. I think QCK overstayed his welcome there because he still has that dash, but punish for it, opens up the site. Maybe that is part of the playbook now for Sentinels. They want to play fast and loose, increase the tempo. Yeah, yeah so we get a buy round pretty much without any of the ults. You might see a KO ult here, but Sentinels are but if they can close to being in a spot where they're about to get some of their ults online command. as well. I mean, we're pretty much at the stage of both be very teams. Difficult for who is if he gets a kill? Knife goes in, doesn't hit anyone, so they know that yellow is clear. Rotate's coming in heavy. Four passing, yeah, they just absolutely send it. Pick up the orb, instantly use the ult. Emanating forwards and it will set up sentinels yeah, at least to try and get that bar down. Anna Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Res Respect, Respect man. Sadak instantly legged it out of range so he could use his molly. That was, that was unreal. It's a major blunder for Sen because they should have been in a post plant right now. They, they're basically they sat in post plant positions. The only difference is little bro got minced by nanobots or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> 
So they're throwing the next wave of utility. That is really devastating. Hey, that's a lovely gecko, Molly. The one on the bridge that spreads either side. Dude, I thought he was going to get two there. Too. Dude, look at them all just swinging. Bro, Sadak played this round so well. It's not even fair. how different things are when Sen still have to get the plant down. Damn, they played this round great. Uh, one nine loss bonus now for Sentinels. One person gets a little bit wrecked. I mean, Sadak just runs away from tens and then flicks back around and gets the Nana Swarm. And there goes the wingman. Kaplan's gonna insta call a timeout here because that was Sentinel's opportunity to take control of the game. Get things up to nine to nine, and then be in a Why didn't they break the mummy? Yeah, but how are now, they going close to see it? Wingman's gonna plant it. What is he meant to shoot it? They don't go they close to it. They can't see it. Kaplan's gonna be giving them an earful. If Sen lose this game, there is an extremely high chance that they are not making playoffs. Did Ten see it? There's still more to be decided. Still more matches to be played between both of these groups. But Sen would be at the bottom of the Alpha group. Yeah. That's oh, okay. Well, then. Tragic fall from Grace from the well, then. <laughs> Fair play. Even games. It hasn't been like he almost directly looked at it. Okay. Well, then that's uh Circumstances and been getting dominated for a couple weeks. They've been back and forth. They just haven't been able to get the dubs in the column. For the Madrid winners, I mean, listen. Not making Shanghai, not even making playoffs. Right, I didn't say I was looking at the minimap, honestly. Them. I'm sure Kaplan will be grateful for a bit of rest. <laughs> Guy, he's, uh, he works hard. Yeah, but I don't think he'll see it like that. No. And uh, and so for Sentinels here, it is a must win onto this map here with Loud. One already up into the series and holding this lead nice and steady for And him. Sassy takes the hit. And I think it's very possible. Top Senna Fragger. just wasted their best opportunity. Coming into this one, Top Fragger Sassy with the Sheriff. How do you take it? It's early high tide is really annoying to get through. Goes his way across the B angle and down into bottom mid. If you remember, into it. if you remember back to the <laughs> send one on Icebox in Madrid, okay, one to push them Orgism across the line and take the trophy. Zelsus and we are walking close over towards a potential reaction to the knowing that they've got an aggro the beat. Win, or, he ran over people. Zelsis, right now, bottom of the scoreboard, has found it really difficult to get going in this match. On both maps. I'm sure he's still there for them in the be. comms, but... Yeah, yeah. Only just going even. The firepower is there today for Lauer. I mean, we're talking about QCK and Kawazin going negative in almost all of their games at stage one. What a time yeah. to go alive. And everyone hid from it. And Zelsis, that's a nice punish. Oh, that's an absolute... Yeah, that's opener. Well, in Sadak nearly got taken down there as well. The Lombard goes in to see if they instant react over towards here, and you imagine it's pretty much all up to Kazin. It decides to go aggro and wants to clear the question mark. And that right there should be the round. Oh. Then we've got nothing to stop this. Wait. Trying to spam it. Okay. John Q the use all. If Sadak gets a kill, he gets his all. Yeah. Desperately spamming, trying to get a kill here. Doesn't get the kill. Does he even choose to use the ult? Time might be running away from them at this point here with the pit online. It's a spam. They know the position. Oh yeah, just spammed on top. Less is on top of it. Viper v Viper. And shout out to Les. Sees the image. I mean, sees the ult at the top here. Goes a little bit higher than if you would do it on the floor. So he just spams it. Yeah, less is just, I mean, he is the Viper man. But also, a little bit of luck involved as well, you've got to say. Because if they don't instantly kill John there, it's over for them. There isn't enough time, the pit stays up, and set up on the round. Oh, he didn't have his kill? But what a difference that one pick makes. And Sen continue scraping the bottom of the barrel. And Kaplan... He's so frustrated about that one. It's desperate times here for Sentinels. Get out of my way. 
Money all over the place. Second will have the Blade Storm. Oh, What's the call to be made? Up. They're pushing. They're going to go aggressive. Going to be meeting their match. Pound for pound. Blade Storm. Snapping with a rifle. Tasty prize. All the distractions. <laughs> the crowd's so much. Oh, so goes in. And is, I mean, they got to get a good plan because Sadek's just going to Trying to utilize their attack side ultimates to make this one winnable still. Loud won't disrespect it. The, the problem is, how do you stop Sadak from just using his own ult? You have to play aggressive in the post -plan. In position. And how do you even do that? Play aggressive over towards screens? That's so yeah. tough. Yeah, how do you do it? We go, let's place. find out, because they got a cove as well. So they got to make the best use of the Killjoy mollies. And Cowan's in just shocked us. The spike. There is, but it's tough. It's gonna be really tough, especially because the positioning. Look at this. It's so damn expected. QCK, hold up for the bell swing. Snake bites over. And yeah, above. and they waited to the use the cove. By the way, just waiting for the util. And all the you in the world can't save you from this spot. John QT. Lovely from Loud, man. They're just playing so good right here. Up to 12 again for Loud. Yeah, I felt a little bit desperate here, for uh, well, Sentinel too. Final few moments. Getting the Hunter's Fury for Cowan Scene. And this this is excellent from Loud. Yeah. This is them back to what you're expecting to see. Not just going for the individual plays, but having that setup. Where Les takes one angle, QCK covers the swing to punish. They back up, play the ults effectively, are ready for the kind of stuff that Senna gonna throw at them. It's beautiful to watch. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, it really is. I mean, the it, they look, they look you can by far the best we've seen them so far. Even better than they did at Madrid. Even Madrid was like. It's so bonkers what we've got here in America. <laughs> Wait, who's the, who's the second team that Loud play again? Because remember, it is still tough for Loud. They were 0 and 3 coming into this match. Looking just for their first e win. Oh man, man, and it will be winner goes battle. through. But most probably. Like one of the most difficult on their schedule. QCK is going to attempt to do what Zekin was able to cool. on the defense earlier. A lot of angles to watch for here. Oh, Flash is committed! Shot. That Absolute is shot. So yeah, he gets fast. out of there. We've got a alarm bot as well to give him info that. To the, if they're actually going to push all the way deep. We've got a drone a that clears angle. all of A, so they could probably shift one over. They have lost control of mid. Recon to clear that. even deeper. And but they the do shift one over. over towards a allows Loud to start stacking the B site. It's so tough. Sen have very rarely got into good positions. And when they did get into good spots, they made the mistakes to throw the round away. Could Zelsis maybe be a difference maker for them in his deep lurk position on Tube? Or is this just where Loud close it out? Ooh, Look at that. Left. Just about missing each other. But the shots are fired and that gives less to go. Uh, sure. Drops down this pit. The bad one though. Three seconds left. This is for the series. This is for the map. Oh, yeah. One Might mid. be able to spam him. Forwards. Trying to clear the way here for Sassy to get that plant online, and it's all about the game of those timings. Fights to be taken all over the place. Less. He Big Joel. He finds his Don's own. gonna do so it's much. Too to stand against it. But this loud team, you can never count them out. John makes a good go of it. Whoa. Wide. Can't defend it. Gotta spray it down on the way. Damn. He's just sticking it. Damn, <laughs> just a plant with a little section of the back here as well. <laughs> Did just tell the <laughs> you just tell the crowd to chill out? <laughs> That's so fun. Lovely plant once again from your, your boy Wingman. As the loud fans in the back cheering it on.